Hey everyone, glad you're back for another video here on the channel. In this particular video, we are doing a battery performance test and not just any battery, we are going to be testing another pack from SMC and this is more of their budget friendly battery. It's not as expensive as the previous battery that performed exceptionally well and took the number one place here out of all the packs that we've tested. So we're really anxious to see exactly which battery this is going to compare most with. Let's introduce the battery here for this video. This is the SMC HCL-HP battery packs. So I just threw a bunch of letters at you and let's break down exactly what those stand for. The HCL here represents a high cycle life, so that's really good about a value pack that is more budget friendly. And the dash HP here is high performance. So that's ultimately what I'm looking forward to. How well does this battery pack perform in terms of internal resistance and a 100 plus amp load test. Now the specifications of this pack, it is a 4S, that's the common battery that we just happen to test on this channel frequently. And this is a 5,000 milliamp hour, which does have an ADC C rating on it. So that is going to be compared up against the CNHL battery pack that is a 5,200 milliamp hour and does have a 90C. And it's the one that has the orange, green, and white label on it. That's exactly what we're going to be facing this up against here today. And just before we get into the video, we're going to talk a little bit more about the connector and then we'll do some internal resistance tests as well as our low test. I do want to say that it's been brought to my attention that if you're not subscribed to the channel, there is a much higher risk of you letting the magic smoke out of your electronics. In order to prevent that, I don't want that to happen to you. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and now we can move on. Let's go take a look at what this battery can do. Here we are on the SMC website. We're gonna now search for the pack that we are looking at here today. And we now have the search results. We're looking for the 5,000 milliamp hour pack. So this one here, ADC, and it is a flight pack. This is known as, as we covered, the high cycle life, high performance version of the packs that SMC has to offer here. And just like what we saw in previous videos with SMC, you have the ability and options to select the connector that works best for you. In our case, we already have the SC5 connector installed, which matches our battery that we're gonna be comparing up against here today. This SC5 is compatible with the EC5 and IC5 five connectors so that's what we're after and the price point if you do select this is $46.95 that's the price point of this battery pack that we're testing here today now that we know the price we're going to jump on the RC explain patreon calc sheet in order to determine the actual C rating that this pack should come out to be this particular spreadsheet can be downloaded if you are a member of either tier one or tier two on the patreon site I'll leave a link in the description below Let's take a look at the LiPo calculator here. This is one of the many tabs that we have available. We're interested in this top section where we can place some information in here in order to determine what this battery's real C rating is. So we know the capacity of the pack here. We are going to be putting in 5200 because this is what we have now identified as the capacity of the battery that we just saw there on the website. So I just realized that this battery, it looks like they came out with the next version of them. And SMC tends to get better with every battery that they test. So I'm gonna take it that this specification is gonna be 5200, which is actually gonna put it at a slight disadvantage for everything that we cover within this video. So I'm gonna keep it there, 5200, and then the average cell internal resistance that we have here, I put it on the right-hand side. We are looking at 1.6, and we are comparing this pack up against the CNHL 5290C. So 1.6 milliohms and that's where we are at with this C rating of 27.4 and 143 amps maximum continuous current. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the graph that we get when we discharge this under a 100 amp load. 
All right, guys, here is our graph representing the SMC HCL HP pack. And we can see that the cell voltage and the current here is following our general pattern that we typically see. At the very beginning, we start off with a peak of current and then it dips down as the voltage begins to drop. And then it maintains this constant slope here as it gets down to the near the very end of the pack. And then we can see how the current drops off because the voltage starts to come down too. And in this particular case, what's important about this graph is we talk about the end condition here. This got cut off by hitting our voltage cutoff parameter of 3.3 volts per cell and it didn't overheat. We didn't need to terminate this run. This particular pack does pass our 105 amp load test, which does confirm that it can discharge at least that amount for the entire duration of the pack. And keep in mind that we actually go beyond that 80% mark when we're discharging charging on our load test. So now let's jump into the next slide here. And this slide goes through particularly the, the data that we get from that 105 amp load test. We're going to go through this data and take a look at some of the parameters that we have in this specific chart. And each parameter that's in the chart is also represented below in a graph. Now you do have to keep in mind some of these graphs, I don't start at zero. I zoom this in so we can get more of a different differentiation in the graph and we can see which one is actually higher. So it looks like a couple values here have a big string of decimal points. It looks like these two on the left, but on the chart it is rounded correctly. So the total milliamp hour that we get out of the SMC versus the CNHL is 4977 milliamp hour as opposed to the 4682 out of the CNHL. Now I do have to say this is quite incredible because this breaks the record for all the packs that we've tested here on the channel as the one that delivers the most amount of milliamp hour for a 5,000 or in this case we're looking at this as a 5,200 milliamp hour pack. Here if it's a 5,200 pack you got a usable capacity of almost 5,000 milliamp hour. That in itself is looking pretty good. Now when we look at the energy per cell measured in watt minutes this gives it a 1,036 watt minutes of energy and you got 978 on the CNHL. Average cell wattage, this is one of the couple areas where the CNHL battery pack does come out on top and this gives you a 347 and a half out of that SMC and a 349 and a half out of the CNHL. Not a major difference here at minus 0.6% CNHL wins. The voltage at the 10 second mark looks like both of them come in at 365. The milliamp hour to 3.5 volt is 14. 94 versus 1401. This is a win for the SMC and the time to get there is 51.6 seconds on the SMC and 48.2 seconds on the CNHL. When looking at the milliamp hour on the 3.60 volt side, we got 535 versus 579. This is the other area where the CNHL battery pack does look like it performs a bit better. And then the time to 3.60 volts here is the SMC. 18.2 seconds and the CNHL is at 19.6 seconds. So overall, this data looks really good. I'm always talking about how the CNHL is one of the best performers for being a budget battery. And in this case, the SMC looks like it stands above the CNHL in a couple different areas. And most notably, the total milliamp hour that you get out of this pack at full load. So this means you can be at 48 800 milliamp hours completely discharge and still pull full throttle and draw 100 amps and that car is not going to hit the voltage cutoff until it gets past that 4977 milliamp hour. That is truly cool and definitely a record for us here on the channel for a 5200 milliamp hour battery pack. There you have it guys, SMC has broke yet another record here on the channel in terms of, in this case for this battery pack, the milliamp hour that we can discharge out of the pack for a 5000 slash 5200. In fact, it does take the number one spot and we've tested all the way up to 5800 milliamp hour and that particular battery pack came from Traxxas. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.